time to appreciate things instead of rushing through the day. One can make the most out of everyday pleasures by, by keeping them diverse and always keeping them fresh. Every time we have a pleasure, it's something special. And not everybody feels pleasure every day. You know, if you can recognize that and realize that you're getting something special, so you'll feel it then. Everybody enjoys the ocean. If you go down to the ocean, everybody enjoys the first 10 minutes you're swimming, 15 minutes, and then, okay, enough. So what do you do? I mean, it took two hours to get to the ocean and two hours to get back. Yes, I, I can't spend 15 minutes at the ocean, right? So you lie down in the sand, and the sand gets to you, yeah? And you wipe it off, and you take a towel and put it on the sand, so, and you're baking, and it's a little hot, and it's boring, and you're, getting, you're itchy, you're itchy, but how long have we been here? Half an hour? Hey, look, man. Everybody enjoys the ocean. Everybody enjoys a beautiful day. Everybody enjoys a beautiful sunset. Everybody enjoys a gorgeous flower for two minutes. If you learn how, you can enjoy a museum for two hours. <laughs> you can enjoy the Almighty's works of art for a heck of a lot more time if you learn how to pay attention and appreciate it. You have to look at yourself in internally and see what is the highest pleasure that you could ever possibly want. People eat like this. Eating is such a pleasure of life. People don't take it in for like what it is. Like you could sit down for a moment and like just feel and taste and everything. The Almighty made a gorgeous world and he created such wonderful tasty foods <laughs> and tasty fruits and vegetables that are well done. If, if you know, their taste sensations are without end, and there are other physical sensations that are really delicious. The Almighty created a gorgeous world for our pleasure, and Judaism says that we should take the pleasure, and we should thank the Almighty before we take pleasure. So we say, thanks. Why do you have to thank the Almighty? You make a bracha, you know, you take a glass of water, you make a bracha. Take a glass of wine, you make a separate, particular bracha. What, what, what do we have to thank the Almighty? He's uh, so, uh, he's so demanding, everything. Because the way to really get pleasure is first use your head. You know, in the finer universities in the United States of America, they teach you that you get, you get credit to learn how to enjoy music. And if you have a good professor who knows his business, who knows music and enjoys it, and can articulate how to enjoy it and share it with you, music is different the rest of your life. And if you have a good professor who teaches you how to enjoy art, and if he enjoys art, and he understands how he enjoys it, and he shares that technique with you, art is different the rest of your life. But I don't know how many of you know that in the finest universities in the United States, they have a three-credit course on wine tasting. Wine tasting. And if you have a good lush, you know, a professor who really appreciates wine, and he knows how to articulate, you've got to smell it, you've got to roll it around on your tongue, you know, and then you really appreciate wine. So in Judaism we say, before you eat something, focus your attention. We Westerners in the United States particularly are accused of fast food. Blum, 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 blum. You know, how they even taste. It's just a sensation with it. It's mustard on this. It's all the same. They put ketchup on the whole thing, and it's, you're only eating ketchup. The French say Americans are barbarians. They kill the food. <laughs> Don't kill the food. Eat it. Taste it. Savor it. Saying, thank you, God as being aware that the Almighty created it for your pleasure. And you appreciate his manifold creative abilities, the touch, the taste, the smell, the texture. And that's the way to really enjoy life. Take it with your mind. Lead with your mind. People can get the most out of everyday pleasures by focusing on one pleasure a day and getting the most out of that one pleasure. Waking up early, doing a lot in the day, um, reading, writing, eating good hearty meals that fill you up.